Well, the next thing I want to talk about, which is related to this, is Latin squares. I'm a bit nervous because we have one of the world experts on Latin squares in the audience. But uh, very briefly, a Latin square is an arrangement of, of numbers or symbols of various kinds so that you get all, each symbol occurring exactly once in each row and e in each column. So it's a 5 by 5 Latin square with the letters L-A-T-I-N. And, and uh, these arose in various situations, and one of them is in a recreational book, um, a, a book by Ozenarm, and in the 1725 edition, um, you've got the puzzle of taking the 16 court cards, and you want to arrange them in a square array, uh, like this, in such a way that the values, jack, queen, king, ace, if you just look at those, the red, the red symbols, they form a Latin square. And if you look at the, the green symbols, which are the suits, um, the diamond, heart, spades, and clubs, they also form a Latin square. And, uh, and you can actually do this, and what we get, get are what we now call orthogonal Latin squares. Uh, and the, the point is that each combination of a red symbol, a value, a green symbol, a suit, appears exactly once. So here is the solution of that. And you can do this with, with other numbers as well. You, here's a 5 by 5 um, example. Um, the, um, uh, the first symbol are the chess pieces. The se second symbol are, are the colors. And you, if you superimpose these, you get, you get this. And each chess piece occurs exactly once in each row and column. And each color appears just once in each row and column. Then you can, uh, well, then you can try it with six. And a very famous puzzle, which I've mentioned in, in previous lectures, is the so-called Euler 36 officers puzzle, which I won't mention now. Uh, but um, Euler sort of believed that you couldn't do it with six. You can do it with three, four, five, six. He couldn't do it. And in fact, it, was, it took until, uh, well, it took over a century before people realized that, in fact, Euler was right, that you couldn't do six. You can do seven, eight, and nine. Euler said you can't do ten. Do 11, 12, and 13. Euler said you can't do 14. So you could do it. You, so you can't do it with six, and you can't do it with any of the others uh, beyond that. Or so Euler thought. And, but it wasn't until 1960 that uh, it was discovered that Euler was right about six and wrong about all the others. Uh, but that's another story.